Hello everyone. Today's lecture, we are going to talk about the fundamental postulates of electrostatics in a free space. We have aforementioned that the electrostatics only consider the stationary, not moving electrical charges. Today, we are going to explain the two equations that hold for all stationary electrical charges that exist in a free space, called by the fundamental postulates of electrostatics. These two equations specify the divergence and the curl of the electrical field intensity E. The first equation states that the divergence of E equals to rho divided by epsilon sub zero, as rho is the charge density or the charge per unit volume. It's measured by columns per cubed meter. And epsilon sub zero is the electrical permittivity in free space. And it's a universal constant it's equals 1 over uh, 36 pi times 10 to the power of minus 9. This symbol, which looks like a twisted delta, it's del operator, and it's nothing but the, the partial differentiation of some magnitude at x, y, and z directions, and it's a vector quantity as we see. Let us talk about the definition of the divergence. The divergence of some vector field is the net outward flux per unit volume as this volume tends to zero. And uh, below we have the formula of the divergence. The divergence is the dot product between the operator that we have illustrated before and the vector A. The vector A is the vector that we have that it's assumed by us. It's, uh, it has a components at uh, x and uh, y and z directions. When we make a dot product between del operator and a, we will end we will end up with this summation. And now, let us uh, look strictly at the definition of the divergence. Uh, the definition of the divergence, uh, as illustrated in this formula, is the surface integration, or the integration of a with respect to the surface divided by the volume. As this volume is so tiny, it's tending to zero. And uh, and let us ask us this question. What is the point of the divergence? Why do we need to take the divergence of the vector A? To understand this question, let us look at this illustrative, illustrative graph. In this graph, we have a vector field A, which is getting out, which is getting out of some random volume in the space. This volume has a surface S. The surface S is the unshaded area. When we take the integral of A with respect to this surface, we will end up with the net outward flux, which is coming out of this area. By other, wo by, by other words, when we take the surface integral of A, this is going to tell us the magnitude of the outward flow from this area and if we divide this surface integral by v by the volume of this shape is going to tell us about the outward flux per unit volume and if we make this volume so tiny if we make it tend to zero it's going to tell us the outward flux per unit volume as this volume is so tiny is this volume is point like it's so tiny in negligible way. If we have outward flux getting out from, getting out of some point, this means that this point is producing this vector field itself. And uh, to, to sum it, to sum this all up, this means if we have a divergence exists at some point, this means that this point is itself a source of this vector field. And let us re-look at this formula. If we increase the divergence of the vector field, uh, the surface integral is going to increase. And uh, let us remember that the surface integral means the outward flow, the outward flux. This means that higher the divergence of the vector field, stronger the flow we have. And this is the point of the divergence. And now, after understanding what does the divergence mean, uh, look by, uh, by looking at this equation, we will understand that the source of the electrical field density is the charge density. And when the charge density increases, the electrical field intensity 
is going to increase and in the neutral regions when rho equals zero this makes the divergence of the electrical field intensity to be zero as well and accordingly the electrical field intensity vector is solenoid what we mean by solenoid field that uh, is that neither point in this region is uh, considered as a source nor a drain to the electrical field intensity uh, all the all this all the points in this region it's just passing the vector field through it's the vector field is not generated nor absorbed by any point in this region the divergence of all this point is equal to zero because if we took the surface integral around any point in this region the surface integral is going to be zero because the the outward flux from any point in this region equals the inward flux into this point into any point in this region and now let's apply the divergence theorem at the divergence formula of the electrical field intensity when we take the volume integral for both sides we will start by taking the volume integral for the both sides for uh, the above inequality rho divided by epsilon db divergence theorem states that when we take the di uh, the uh, volume integral for the divergence we will end up with the surface integral we'll end up with the surface integral for the electrical field intensity and the surface integral for the electrical field intensity is the net outward flux of the of some bounded surface as this circle denoted to, uh, denotes uh, that that the surface that we are integrating around is a, a closed divided by v or rho or by epsilon dv and when we take when we apply the integral for this side we will end up with rho times delta v over epsilon and rho which is the charge density times the volume equals the charge enclosed in the surface that we took the integral around divided by epsilon which is the permittivity of the free space and this is gauss's law and what gauss's law states that the net outward flux of the electrical field intensity over an enclosed surface in a free space is equal to the total charge enclosed in surface divided by epsilon sub zero and this is the end of our video we have explained the first fundamental postulate of electrostatics in the second video we are going to explain the second fundamental postulate which is the uh, the curl of the electrical field see you soon in the next video